I'm going to go with my gut instinct. I think Jake Paul wins this fight by knockout in the third round. Wow. Well, now I just look like a d How's it going, everyone? Matt here, once again, back with another YouTube video. You lucky, lucky people getting two videos in three days. This has never happened before. But yeah, it's the morning after the fight, after Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. I think that with my predictions video that I did a couple of days ago, I should probably never speak about boxing ever again. <laughs> I think it's become pretty clear that whatever I say just doesn't happen. Now I look and feel like a complete divvy because I said that Jake Paul was going to knock Tommy out and Tommy went and won by split decision. Two completely different outcomes and like this couldn't be further from what I said originally. But yeah, I was in the pub last night with the boys watching the fight. As I was watching it, I could just see that my prediction was just falling apart. Which is why when they were all like placing bets, I was like, I'm not having a part of it because like, I just knew my luck was going to run out. We were expecting a knockout, never got one, which was, you know, quite disappointing. But, you know, in my eyes, it was a decent fight, I guess. Are you sure about that? Apart from the insane amount of clinching that we know Jake Paul likes to do and did in this fight. Definitely something me and the boys were getting very frustrated about. Particularly Cooper, but you know, he gets frustrated about anything. LOL! I think that on the night when it came to it, Tommy definitely showed why he was the professional boxer. Just outboxed Jake. He just, you know, boxed better than him, which is what got him the win. Well, obviously. You're a donut! You're so stupid! Tommy clearly controlled the fight he just landed punches on jake to be fair to jake he took some big shots and he was a lot tougher than i think anyone expected him to be tommy did control pretty much the whole thing jake came in here and there with a few things in particular that jab which was it a knockdown was it not a knockdown in the final round comment down below let me know what you think right person definitely won in the end and uh, i just want to say as well sorry boys uh, I know you did lose quite a bit of money quite early on during that fight. So, yeah, I'm very, very sorry about that. How the questions are being asked. What is next for Jake Paul? What is next for Tommy Fury? A certain Mr. KSI seems to already be giving it the big one on Twitter. Here's what he posted directly after the fight. Ah, ah don't mind me. Just smoking on that Jake Paul pack. <laughs> Honestly, Jake Paul, trash. Tommy Fury, trash. <laughs> you may have also seen as well Deji, KSI's brother, and Jake Paul's first ever actual opponent. He came forward and he said in an interview after the fight that KSI would beat Tommy Fury and Jake Paul even in the same night. I mean, obviously, KSI versus Jake Paul is the big one. It's the one that everybody wants. It's been rumoured it's going to happen towards the end of the year. Rumours are it's going to sell out Wembley, the Principality and Cardiff. It could easily sell out any stadium. It's a huge fight. A huge audience will be around for that. Could we see KSI versus Tommy Fury in between? So if KSI beats Tommy, but Tommy beat Jake, there's an interesting demographic. It's going to be absolutely fascinating to see how this all turns out, how it all works out. I'm looking forward to it. I think that this is the future for boxing. I think it's I think it's a good move. It brings a new audience to the sport, which is good for them. There's always gonna be people that complain and you can't really help that. But I do think that these YouTubers are making a name for themselves at that much, that they're having a good impression anyway. So yeah, it was a great fight, a great event. I really enjoyed it personally. There could be a rematch. Jake Paul has said there is a rematch clause in there and that he's going to activate it as soon as possible. That could be interesting. Could it be happening on UK turf this time, which would be, again, interesting. I do hope to see the rematch. I'd love to see these two fight again. It'll be interesting to see how it all goes and, yeah, just how it all works out over the next couple of months. Yeah, my prediction didn't quite go to plan. But yeah, you will be seeing more boxing videos here on the channel. Be lots more predictions for stuff like wrestling, boxing, MMA, all of that coming. Always had a huge interest in combat sports. I'm going to try and utilise that on YouTube as much as possible. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, as always, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe down below, because if you're not subscribed... What on earth are you doing? Subscribe now. But yeah, leave a like, guys. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, stay safe.
Catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, my prediction. LOL!